Hi guys, it's Pastor Caitlin from South Point Christian Church, where we welcome all, feed the soul, and serve with joy. The last few weeks we've been making room as we study Lent and prepare for Easter, the celebration where Jesus raises from the dead and we celebrate eternal life as Christians. So we're talking about selflessness and the best story in the Bible that talks about selflessness, the story of the Good Samaritan. I want you to think a minute, put your thinking cap on, who is your neighbor? Today we live in a world where our neighbors feel kind of far away. We might not know our neighbors as well as we used to, but in Jesus' day, it was very important to be neighborly to anyone that came through your town. So I want you to put your listening ears on, open your heart, open your mind, and before we start our story today, let's have a word of prayer as we discover who our neighbors are in God's eyes. Won't you pray with me? Creator God, we come to you today with hearts that are longing for connection. We ask that you would teach us who our neighbor is in this time of strange viruses and being separated from our friends and family and our neighbors. We pray today that you would teach us how to be good and selfless in serving you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get to our story today, shall we? Do you know your neighbors? They could be people next door, down the street, or across town. Jesus told a story about what it means to be a good neighbor, even to people you don't know. In the time of Jesus, the Samaritans and Jews did not like each other very well. Wherever Jesus went, people came to listen to his teaching and to ask questions. And one day, a lawyer came to Jesus with a very important question. Teacher, he said, the law says we must love our neighbor the way we love ourselves. That's right, Jesus replied. But who is my neighbor? asked the religious teacher. Jesus answered this question with a story. Before we start our story, I want you to think about two groups of people that don't like each other. I'm going to give a shout out to Jameis and Doherty because I think of you and your sports teams. Maybe it's the Broncos and the Chiefs or the Vikings and the Packers. Maybe it's even you and Ellen Creighton basketball. But the word Samaritan was a word to describe people of Samaria in Jesus' time. Samaria was a neighboring country to Judea where Jesus lived. So the Samaritans weren't very liked by the people in Judea. So it was kind of like one of those sports rivalries. One day, a traveler was walking down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. Suddenly, robbers attacked him and stole all his money they ran away, leaving him, lying in a heap on the side of the road. He was badly hurt and needed help. After a while, he heard someone coming. It was a priest. Thank goodness. The traveler thought, I'm saved. But the priest was afraid that the robbers would hurt him too. So he crossed to the other side of the road, looked the other way, and kept going. Later, the injured man heard someone else coming. This time, it was a Levite who was also a religious leader of the time. Finally, he thought, surely the Levite will help me. But again, the Levite was afraid that he'd get beaten and robbed too. So he crossed the street and passed by the Samaritan. A third time, and the injured man heard someone coming. This time it was someone coming from Samaria on the way to Jerusalem. Oh no, the traveler thought, it's someone from Samaria, he'll never help me. But the Samaritan did stop and knelt down. He bandaged the man. He lifted him up onto his donkey and he took him to an inn. 
gave the innkeeper money to look after the traveler until he was well. Jesus asked, who was a neighbor to the traveler? Attacked by robbers. The one who was kind to him, the one who stayed with him, and the one who helped him, the lawyer replied. Go and be that kind of neighbor, said Jesus. So this week, as we think about being selfless, how was the Samaritan selfless? He served someone in need, even if it was someone he didn't like. So I want you to brainstorm. What are some things you can do together as a family? How can you be selfless? Maybe you have a neighbor nearby that's shut in. Could you bring them bread or bake some cookies for them? Maybe you could share a toy. My prayer for you as we prepare for Easter season is so that we can reflect on how God can work in us to be less selfish and be more selfless. So, as you go with your family this week, I hope that you can love them and serve them and be selfless as Christ was selfless. Thanks guys, have a great week. Blessings to all of you and we miss you. One more thing I almost forgot. If you do serve a neighbor or a family member, post it on our Facebook page at South Point Christian Church, hashtag serve with joy. I look forward to hearing updates about how you are expressing Christ's selflessness in our world. Thanks guys.